Race six is the World Sports Betting Greenpoint Stakes. It's a great two over the 1600 meters, and you've got the good old Soldier Fire Alley, and then of course Charles Dickens, who um, we all love. How is he doing into this race? Yeah, Vicky, he's, he's doing. He looks outstanding at the moment. He's he's doing really well. Um, his work has been good. Yeah, it's a tough race. Um, it's not a very big field, but I mean, it's a, it's extremely uh, a good quality field. Um, pretty much the Queen's the King's Plate field um, that that we're seeing here. Uh, Vicky, he's obviously his main mission is the King's Plate. I think he is going to need another race. But uh, in saying that, I think he's, you know, he's in the right place um, where I need him to be for this race. Uh, you know, looking at looking at the field, there are quite a few other horses that are starting out or having runs. So hopefully, um, I, I, I think he'll be fit enough for this race. But as I say, I think the race will bring him on to where I need him to be on King's Plate Day. Um, you know, he's, he'll have to drop. He'll probably end up dropping in. Um, I would think uh, it's not a very big field, so he shouldn't have you know too much ground to make up. Um, but he's he's in a good place, Vicky. As I said, he, he looks outstandingly well at the moment, and uh, I look forward to having him back on the track again. And as I say. Probably going to need a race, um, but you know, hopefully, he's he's good enough to get away with it. And then your other runner, Fire Ali, you know, absolute soldier and super versatile. Yeah, it's a tricky for him because he's, he's also getting on now. He's he's not a spring chicken anymore, and uh, it's hard to find a race for him. He's quite high in the ratings, and you know, taking on a field like this is tough for him. Um, but it's, as I said, it's difficult to place him somewhere because he doesn't really sprint, you know, as well as you would like him to, and he doesn't really stay. So he's kind of. 1400 meter miler type of horse so um yeah i think he's he's a little bit out of his depth here but uh you know he's uh, he's fitting well so we'll take our chances race seven is the world sports betting cape phillies guineas the grade one event over the the mile you've got the three runners red palace obviously renowned for her her speed and, and turn of foot and then beach bomb and distant wind and um beach bomb she's been the, the she's won the 1500 so the mile shouldn't be too much of a, a problem for her no, because she'll definitely get the mile. Um, I think she'll love the mile trip, uh, especially back on this track. Um, she's come on really well from the, to her prep run back at Kennel uh, at Durbanville. Um, you know, she's not a big filly, Vicky, but she's got a lovely turn of foot, um, and she looks particularly well at the moment. So, um, I'd love for her to have had a, a draw. She's drawn a little bit wide, but it's I suppose it's not the end of the world. She does come from off them a bit, so it's it's not the end of the world. She's uh, you know she's she's been in pretty much in this sort of. Uh, class of, of field so um you know out of my three fillies probably um on paper and on form um i would i would say she's probably got the best chance um but yeah it's it's a very open tough field this year i think it's 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 a very competitive uh fillies guineas but uh you know if she can if she hasn't got too much ground to make up in the straight she'll be running at them distant winter um also you know if she comes off her durban form she's got strong durban form she's also she that last run back at Durbanville, she needed to run quite a bit. She's come on nicely. My only uh, thing with her is the mile is just a little bit of a question mark for her. I think 1,400 probably her best trip, and she's got a, a wide draw to overcome. So she's got a little bit of a tough ask, but she's fitting well. The other filly, um, Red Palace, um, she's a lovely filly, the Kipik Scopey filly. Um, she shows a lot at home. Obviously, you know, she doesn't have the same uh, paper on form as, as most of these fillies do. She's, she's taking a big step up here, but I think it's just the way she's done it uh, her last two runs. You know, she's been extremely impressive. So I would like to see her step up to the plate. I think she's capable of doing that. Um, she, out of my three, has probably got the, well, she has got the best of the draws. Um, you know, she races up quite handy. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how she fares. But as I say, she's a lovely filly and, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to see her right there. Race nine, you've got Hammy's hero with Gareth aboard. Um, what type of effort are you expecting from him? He is a little bit in and out. Yeah, Vicky, you know, this is his track. Um, he doesn't run around the turn at all. Um, so back at Kenilworth, he, he'll be a much better horse. I do, however, think he's probably going to need another run to get, for me to get him back to his best. Um, he's just, he's, last time I he needed his run quite bad. It wasn't a bad effort from him at Durbanville, actually. Um, but I think probably one more run before I have him back to his best. But certainly Kenilworth, a much better track for him. And then the last uh, of the day, race 10, it's the, the fillies over the, the 1,200 and really the three lovely fillies. You've got Body Electric who loves the, the Kenilworth straight and uh, the Charleston, who's she's got that fantastic turn of foot and, and lastly flying first, who's, she always is just off them. Always just off them, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, and it doesn't really matter what distance you put her over from 1,000 to 14, she always just finishes just off them. So, yeah, she's also, she's taken on a stronger field this time around. Um, you know, she comes in with a, with a fairly nice weight, so... Um, as I say, she's never far off them, and I think it'll be the same story here again on Saturday. Um, the Charleston, uh, yeah, nice filly, Vicky. Um, 
she also nice run, run, run from her back at uh, at Durbanville last time. She's also come on nicely from that run. I think she'll enjoy the Kenilworth Strait. That's probably her favourite course too. And uh, it's it's not the biggest of fields, but I think it's quite a competitive little field. But uh, she's certainly in with a with a good each way chance. And Body Electric, back to her favourite course and distance. I think she's almost unbeaten over this Kenilworth 1200. Um, she loves the trip. She hasn't run for quite some time. She might just need to run a little bit, um, but she certainly won't be far off them. Candice, thank you. Go well. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to a lovely spread of runners and uh, obviously always look forward to Charles Dickens. So looking forward to Saturday.